The question, are we alone in the universe? Or have aliens landed in Wales to accompany the sheep? Well, social media is alight this week with conspiracy theories as a mysterious 10-foot silver monolith landed atop Hay Bluff near Hay on Wye. We've sent Talk Today's Nick Ellaby there to investigate. Morning, Jeremy. Morning, Nicola. I do come to some far-flung places for you. We've just hiked up Hay Bluff, which is a massive hill just outside Hay on Wye. I'm on the Welsh border near Hereford as well. And we've come to find this thing, the monolith. It's about 10 foot tall, as you can see. It's actually hollow, but someone or something has done a great job of getting it up here. It's a serious trek to get up here. It's blowing a gale, it's absolutely freezing. Although good signs, driving through the Welsh countryside, we did see lots of daffodils and spring lambs, so the signs of spring are there. In terms of this thing, you know, this is now probably the fifth or sixth monolith that has appeared in random locations around the world. Four years ago, there was a spate of them. First, we saw one in California, uh, then in Romania, also the Isle of Wight, and Utah as well. Utah uh, was seen in the desert by people on the helicopter. This one here has been spotted mostly by dog walkers since the weekend, when I think it first appeared. And we actually were lucky enough to bump into one of the guys who saw it first, a guy called Craig Muir, a local builder, and I asked him what he made of all this. Yeah, I didn't know what to think when I first seen it, so I just had to investigate, you know. What do you think it could be? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, yeah, it wonders, doesn't it? But, like, the first thing I think is, well, someone's put it there or something, and how and why, you know, them questions come into your head. But, um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just one of them. <laughs> what are people around here saying about it? Um, they think almost like a Banksy thing, but with a monument instead. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I see they're popping up all over Europe, and there's one in Utah, I think, in Texas, or, or well, wherever it was, okay. somewhere in Utah desert. But, um, yeah, um, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> I say, when I first seen it, and I went up and investigated, there was no tracks, there was no markings. So it was, um, you know, it's quite strange, to say the least. And you'd think, well, it's quite a big piece of metal, so maybe it's hollow, but it's windy as hell up there, and it's not going anywhere, you know? So... It's quite strange, but, yeah, who knows, but... Do you believe in aliens, sir? Yeah. <laughs> so, as you can see, huge amounts of speculation from locals and, and also people online that this could be the work of aliens. I'm not sure it is. If you look at the workmanship on the corner here, uh, it's sort of a perforated corner. If you were trying to fold uh, some sheet steel in a workshop, that's probably what you would do. But certainly, a tricky job for a couple of guys to get this up here and stick it in the ground. I mean, it's very, very windy, but this is properly solid. It's not going anywhere. So, you know, if we are about to welcome our alien overlords, then I'll refer you to that Ronald Reagan speech to the UN in 1987, where he said, you know, maybe if that does happen, we can put our petty differences aside and come together as a planet. Guys. Nicholas, amazing as ever. Uh, Quentin's still with us. By the way, tune in tonight to the Independent Republic of Mike Graham from 8 o'clock because he believes in all this stuff. He'll he think that is being dropped by an alien spaceship along with the Loch Ness Monster. Mike Monster. Graham. He will absolutely... Crop circles. I'm yes. telling you, seriously, you can grow concrete. Mike Graham tonight at 8. What do you make of that? That's, that's just a con, isn't it? I bet that dog went up and cocked its leg on it. I mean, <laughs> it, 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 how, what's the... Maybe a, a wind farm? Do you think? I yeah. thought it was like a thing for a telephone company. Come uh, on, Nick, you're not into it, aliens and it all was that. It's probably you? erected by some French modern modern artist. Yes. Don't you think? That is rather my what, theory about but with it. With a French, a sort what of Jean Michel Jarre type. But I think it's quite an honour for them to have, even if it is, you know, what, it's a an pick alien. Whales? Yes, it Why? is. Why is it Well, honor? you know, the, the great desert of Utah, as that man said. And um, now the great. Did you know, see how many cow packs were around the bottom of it? Did you see, like, you'd be jammed in? With Cowper. How does with... that get there? Do you care? Look at it. No, I think it's incredible because whoever has put that in Utah has also booked the plans and the plane tickets and the van to put that there in the middle of Wales. How did Why they've done it? it, it I has... do not know. If you look at the photograph of it, it has... Oh my God, my wife's texted me. It... Definitely aliens. It now has... we're done. It has a certain new... numinous quality. It does. To it. Yes. A what? It has a certain numinous quality. To oh, it. I mean, okay. sort of, it, it's quite. An, it, it touches you inside. Uh, yeah. Martin says, if aliens arrived in this country <laughs> and saw the state of it, they just keep on going.
Do we have oh, to pay, to pay, pay them 3,000? 3, 3, 3, 3, <laughs> yes, yes, that's why he's done it. That is an illegal migrant or an alien who's got no planet to go to. So what basically he's planted that, we're going to give him £3,000, put him in a four-star hotel until we send him to another galaxy. That, my friend, sums it all up. An alien in... Anyway, Southwest. your reporter did very well to find someone up there because it's normally pretty... Uh, not, I know. Not many people I mean, he was, well, he was quite... Well, thank you so much to Quentin Letts.